come on, baby, why don't we paint the tag? And all that jazz, I'm gonna rouge my knee. She painted the town every imaginable color as Velma in the musical Chicago. Now at the age of 90, Cheetah Rivera's written a memoir. Mo Rocca catches up with a legend. Cheetah Rivera is looking in the mirror. Good. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. And she's reflecting. I always used to th think that we should have two lifetimes. One to try it out, and the second one to know what's coming. But no one would ever mistake Rivera's life for a rehearsal. A three-time Tony Award winner, a Presidential Medal of Freedom recipient, and the first Latina Kennedy Center honoree, Cheetah Rivera is a theatrical legend. Five, six, seven, eight. Starring in the original productions of Chicago, Bye Bye Birdie, and Kiss of the Spider Woman, just to name a few. Yeah. Okay. And as she takes the stage at the New Jersey Performing what Arts Center with musical director Seth Rudetsky, Rivera can still bring the fire as West Side Story's Anita. A boy like that who kill your brother. The role that made her a star. One of your own kind, stick to your own car. <laughs> Rivera doesn't move quite the way she used to. But in her soul, she writes in her new memoir, she remains a dancer. How would you describe the dancer's mindset? Oh, oh my God. Do as you're told. And whatever you do, don't complain. That is certainly a theme of your book. It's not 100%, it's 200%. Yeah, that is the way I was taught from the very beginning. Rivera's story begins in Washington, D.C., where she was born. Dolores Conchita Figueroa de Rivera Montestuco Florentino Caramajo de Fluente. And that's a very nice Jewish name. <laughs> this is my dad. Rivera's Julio. Puerto Rican father died when she was seven years old. Her mother was left to raise five children. In her book, Rivera way. describes herself as two people. There is Cheetah. Oh, dear. And then there's Dolores. Oh! Well, those yes. are two very different reactions. Oh, yes. Cheetah is, hello, how are you? It's so nice to be here. Dolores says, what is it you want? It's the darker side. I believe that Dolores is responsible for me having a career. She's the guts. She's the courage. It was decidedly Dolores who, as a small child, jumped from one piece of living room furniture to another. I missed one, one time, and I went through the coffee table. And my mother said, that's it, you're out of here, you're going to a ballet school. At 15, Rivera was accepted into New York's elite School of American Ballet. But while Rivera studied classical dance during the day, at night, she explored a different side of herself, dancing at Manhattan's Palladium nightclub. What happens there? What do you discover? I discover the rhythm. I discover the beat. I discover my heartbeat. I was becoming attuned to my sex appeal. And the rhythm was hot. Rivera soon abandoned ballet for Broadway and by 1956 was appearing in the show Mr. Wonderful, starring Sammy Davis Jr. I fell in love with him. What drew you to him? His sensitivity, his talent, oh my gosh, his humor. Rivera says this photo tells the whole story. And I'm kissing his hand. And it is so humbling, and it says everything, that I adore him, I love him, he's the greatest. Davis told her not to sell herself short, that she had the talent to be a star, which she soon proved in West Side Story, dancing, acting, and singing. Anita's gonna get her kicks tonight. We'll have our private little mix tonight. 
It was on West Side Story that Rivera met fellow dancer Tony Mordente. They married, and soon enough, she was expecting. Is it true that you were dancing in West Side Story six months into your pregnancy? Yes. Uh, I, uh, my gynecologist had a heart attack <laughs> when, when he finally saw the show. But I had kept in shape. This photograph captures Rivera's energy in the role. It hangs in a Manhattan saloon owned by another man from Cheetah's life, the late restaurateur Joe Allen. Oh, we're looking at a bomb who famously decorated his Broadway hangout with posters from shows that flopped, including Bring Back Birdie, the 1981 sequel to Bye Bye Birdie that closed after four performances. What's your advice to somebody in any field who experiences a failure? Leave that behind. Leave it behind. The apple doesn't fall very far. The 1984 musical The Rink teamed Rivera with Liza Minnelli. Minnelli, struggling at the time with alcohol and prescription pills, was forgetting lines and missing performances. It was very awkward knowing that, uh, that she was having complications. I, I felt very bad for her at times. Just two years later, Rivera would face a challenge even greater than working with Liza. In 1986, a car accident left her with 12 pins and two plates in her left leg. Cheetah Rivera not only recovered, she went on to a Tony, dancing the title role in Kiss of the Spider Woman. Do you think that beginning your life as a dancer helped you to survive stardom? I do believe that being a dancer gave me the ability to fight and to withstand and to cope. If I come back, I want to come back a dancer. That'll be my second life.